Hey YouTube, welcome back. My name is Mori and today we are once again counting down the days to Nintendo shutting down the online services for platforms such as the 3DS. This of course affects games such as Animal Crossing New Leaf and all of the online features we can experience in this game. With one of the most notable features of course being the Dream Suite and the entire Dream Library. I'm talking about like 10 years worth of dreams just vanishing when the shutdown happens. So today we are visiting our first viewer's dream address as well which is really cool. So thank you so much for sharing and if you'd like me to visit your dream Whilst we still can in a video, be sure to put your New Leaf dream address in the comments below. So there we go, we've input the dream address for a town called Dubutsu, which obviously of course is named after Animal Crossing, so super excited to see this town. Okay, we are arriving, wow, already, look at all the cherry blossom! This is a Japanese cherry blossom inspired town, that's all we know, and already we can tell exactly the aesthetic they're going for here, uh, so let's check it out and we excited to run around so i will link the viewer and the dream address in the comments so you can visit as well and thank you so much for sharing your dream address this is amazing and the whole entire plaza is covered with a beautiful cherry blossom path this is gorgeous there's so much detail here i don't even know where to look and the fact that you've got the dream with all the cherry blossom floating in the sky. It's just super cool. Look how many cherry blossoms there are. Every single tree seems to be a cherry blossom as well. I wonder if there are any cedar trees around here. So if we head off from the plaza, we're already walking over to our first public work project, which I believe is the bus stop. This cool little kind of almost, um, it's like a bit of a store or a shed or something, but I think it is a bus stop. And um, that's really cool. Oh, look, the path goes straight up to retail. Right, let's have a look at the map before we do anything else. Okay, so here we go. Wow, all the houses are very much grouped together and all in a row. Let's check out the villages while we're here because it's something I always forget to do. We've got Epona, Cali, Wolflink, uh, Medley, Doby, Lolly, Lily, Avery, Genji, and Midge. So we've got some... DLC villages as well, some limited time villages like the Zelda villages and I think Cali is a Splatoon villager. But yes, we can see from the map we've got the coffee shop, one residential house. Um, so I'm really excited to check that out as well and I'm excited to see the main street there. It looks like there might be some kind of neighborhood kind of created here. I don't really know what to say. We'll have to go and check it out. But I think we're right close to a police station as well. Can we sneak through here? We're going off the track a little bit but we do have- oh look at this! We have a bunch of tree stumps and bonfire as well, right next to the campsite. That's super fitting to the campsite, isn't it? We do actually have some cedar trees. I was wondering that. Um, we do have a windmill as well. Really expensive public work project. So really nice to see that blowing in the wind with all the cherry blossoms. But just look at the aesthetic here. It's so nice. How do we get back onto the path? I love the way like so much of the town has been dedicated to having a path and an infrastructure. But there's also places like this that can either be turned into flower beds or maybe have public work projects here in the future. This is super cool. There's just always space to do more work, I feel like. Um, this is so this is so nice. Right, let's have a little look here, making sure we're not missing anything. We'll run up to the station. We've got the reset center and the weather um, shrine here. Let's see here. It looks like the weather's going to stay nice. That's so cool. It, it predicts the weather. It knows the weather for the rest of the day. Um, but we have, oh, this is so nice. We have the upgraded train station, the Zen one, which is super cute. Um, really fits well with the town, of course. Japanese-style town, cherry blossom everywhere. Really minimal and Zen-like. It's, it's just a really perfect building to have for your train station. Let's see when it was last updated. The 10th of April, I think, or the 4th of October. I'm not sure which way around the dates are. 2023, so about a year ago, potentially. Um, but I think these are still active towns, um, so which you can tell. There's just so much work been put in here, and this takes a long time to do. We've got the Zen clock as well. It's so cool getting all these Zen stuff unlocked. It's super hard. Here we go. It's uh, super hard to achieve all this. Moment of truth. That's so cool. Uh, this is the town hall. Look at the pretty flag as well. A big cherry blossom tree. Perfect flag for this town. I like the way it's kind of early evening as well. It really sets the tone for the town. Can we get through here? I'm stuck. Okay, we've come to our first villagers' homes. Here we go. So we're up in the top corner now. And it's, I imagine a lot of work has been done to force spawn these villager homes into place. It's, it's very hard work in New Leaf. You have to have lots of stuff on the floor and you have to have various areas filled so you can try and force spawn villager homes in certain places. So it does take a lot of work. 
Um, so definitely can appreciate that. Hey, Epona, nice to see you in New Leaf. Why aren't you in New Horizons? <laughs> Wait a sec, who are you? You're a visitor. Well, have a great time here, neighbor. We certainly will. Look at this. <gasps> Some lights right next to the bridge. That's really cool. I didn't know you could get them that close. Um, but I suppose it just takes a little bit of work. And we've got the lighthouse right next to the cliff, which is where we always think lighthouses should be. This is so cool. This is really nice. Every little detail here has been thought about. I can't get through. Uh, oh, we've got a fountain. We don't want to miss anything. We seem to have the fountain here. This goes back to the plaza, I think. Right, let's go over this way. Just double check we're not missing anything. This takes us back to the, the bus station. And, oh, we've got some gifts in here as well. What are these gifts? And all the tools as well. Okay, we've picked them all up. Let's check them out. So it looks like we have an outfit, a, a wetsuit in case we want to go into the water, but also some accessories like throwing beans and a glow stick. The throwing beans is so cool. We've got these in other Animal Crossing games. A really cute little item there. Um, but let's go ahead and just use the glow stick, I think. that's Since it's nighttime, it's like the perfect thing. We can't do anything with it. It just looks cool. Right, let's continue the tour. Uh, oh, we've got some more lamps here. This is so nice having them right in front of the Zen Bridges. It makes me realize I never did too much to my town. Like when I visit these really professional, well done towns, it just inspires me to go back to the game. But this takes us over to the coffee shop, to uh, the Roost. Really nice location and we've even got a park bench right next. Oh, look at this little bit of land. I'm guessing that's where the game wanted a bridge to go. That's an interesting little bit of shape of land there. And we even have the watering hole, water pump thing, and a trellis. Another little mini plaza's been built. This is really clever. This takes us over, looking at the map, takes us over to the campground. So that's been incorporated. This entrance has been incorporated into the design as well, which is cool. All the fruits here, one big fruit orchard. This is so good. I'm, I'm pretty desperate to play New Leaf again. I'm not gonna lie, but I am holding off because I, I really think Nintendo is gonna port this. I've there's just something telling me that it just makes sense for Nintendo to do this. Um, so I'm kind of holding off, hoping that later this year we see a New Leaf port. But, oh, this diagonal path looks really good. When I tried to make diagonal paths in old Animal Crossing games, they looked terrible. But I didn't even think about planting bushes or trees on the edges to kind of give it that shape. That's so cool. Now this actually takes us over to the residential home here, but we'll definitely end on this. The gold um, Zen Mansion. That is impressive. Right, and before we look at the mansion though, let's just double check the residential area around here. There's sort of a bit of a neighborhood. All the villagers are in line. This is so nice. I don't even know what to say. I'm a little bit speechless, to be honest. I feel like there's so many public work projects as well. Got another park bench here, and they've got a perfect town. We like to acknowledge it, because it is hard work to get a perfect town. Oh, we've got Stonehenge here. Really nice place for that, actually. Kind of at the cliff edge. Can we get through? We're stuck again. Okay, I don't want to destroy the flowers, but it doesn't matter. It's just a dream. But here we go. We've, we've got so many villager homes here. And this one as well just kind of lines these ones up up here. This is an entire street. And we've got the main pond here as well, where some of the bigger fish um, tend to spawn. And we're back up to where Epona is and the lighthouse. So let's just check the side of the cliff here. We've got a park bench as well. These are great space fillers, park benches, because you can just cover them in flowers and it's just like a little park there. Uh, so nice little edge here. Another <laughs> Jacob's Ladders. Maybe they're going to line the entire cliff with them eventually. Uh, but nothing on the beach. I think most people tend to just forget the beaches because there's not too much you can do with them. There are some presents down there. Not sure what they are. Um, how do we get back through? Right, well, I guess we should head back towards the mansion to check that out. Super excited to check out what themes they went with inside. But we'll just have a quick look on the beach. I think we've just got a plain beach here. Um, yeah, there's not a lot to do other than laying a few patterns and uh, maybe a few flowers and some shells on the ramps. And that. There's not too much you can do. And we have seen putting shells on the ramps is a popular thing. So maybe there's something that could be added to this town. But really, I'm just overwhelmed by how amazing this is. Uh, and it's just so cool. It's such a great theme. Right, let's go. Oh, there's a well behind the house. Got a bit of a back garden as well. That's quite clever, creating a bit of a back garden for your for your mansion. Well done. That's so cool. There's the mayor. Hello. <laughs> right, we're going to check out your house. You've got like, I think it's the gold stuff. I don't know if it's just been customized like that, if there is actually a gold mansion. I can't remember, but it looks good. Let's check it out. Okay. Wow. So the, the kind of zen minimal 
Um, kind of Japanese theme is carried into the, the house as well. We've got some mini models here. A little globe fits really well in with this aesthetic as well. Got some bookcases. Wow, they're actually used really cleverly. And these are customized nicely as well. I don't I didn't even recognize them to start with. I think they're are they the exotic or I think they're the exotic items, aren't they? But they're customized in a way that they really fit in. We've got a cherry blossom lamp, which I think is a pretty desirable item. What is that? Is that a custom design? Or is that an, a welcome amiibo item on the wall there? That big cherry blossom thing. That's your is that not your flag? That's so cool. How does it light up? I've never seen anything like that before. That's amazing. Got some instruments, a cozy little fireplace. This is a great main room. Oh, we've got the bed here as well. This is definitely the exotic furniture, I think. Or maybe the imperial furniture. I think it's exotic or imperial. Either way, it looks super, super good. Right, we've got a full house here. So let's check out the back room first. This is so cool. These are the, these are the houses that I want to document before this is completely shut down because we will never be able to visit these again unless people make videos on their own towns or something. Um, look at this, it's so colorful, I don't even know where to look. This is definitely a Zen-inspired jungle ruins Zelda room. This is really cool. I like the, the hay bed with the, the, the chicken. Got the Zelda bomb. Uh-oh, did we turn it? Oh wait, does it explode? I think it might just go out, or just stay like that. I don't know, we've got fairies in a bottle, master sword. Some shrines. What is that mermaid? Is that a piece? That might be a piece of artwork. Got another bottle here. Oh, is that? That might be a milk bottle. Some rupees. I can't get through. I think this pond is taking up a lot of space. Um, but yeah, we've got the, we can see the Link's outfit at the back there. I think, is that the, is that the Breath of the Wild outfit? I can't ever remember which one is which. I better turn this bomb off. I don't want it to explode. There we go. But yeah, lots of, we've got the rainbow screen at the back there, the Zelda chest. This is a really nice room. This is so cool. More Zelda clothes hanging on the wall. Okay, let's go to the next room. That's super impressive. I wonder if there are any plans to get more, like, residential homes. I'll be interested to see how long this town has been built for, but wow! This just makes me feel so inadequate. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm not capable of designing things. This is just amazing. We've got the Celeste picture, which goes perfect in this room. We've got like an observatory with all these sparkly furniture, all the basic furniture sets in New Leaf, like the green furniture set, the, I think maybe the cabin stuff, the blue stuff, all that sort of stuff. You can have crystal versions of them with all the crystals you get out. And there's like five different, or five or six different crystals. And each one of those sets can be customized normally into a bunch of different customizations or crystal versions. And that's what we're seeing here. It's so nice. There were so many customization options in this game. Look, there's that thing on the wall there. It must be a window or something. I don't recognize that at all. We've got another chest here. Can we open it? We can open it. Wow, this is, I just love how illuminated this is and everything's glowing. Oh, is this a music box? I don't know. That's so cool. Katie photo as well, really lovely room. It was like a celestial ice room. It was, I don't even know how to describe that. It's brilliant. And we've got a bit of, oh, can we get in? We can get in. There's a bit of bamboo blocking the door. Um, but which is a limited time item. Here we go. We've got the green furniture series in the crystal now. The emerald crystal customization. Um, so just a really nice spacious room here with the green furniture. But still very fitting with the aesthetic of the entire town actually. What are they? Per they might be perfect peaches. Uh, pears, sorry. Or they might just be normal pears. We've got a veggie basket. Some stuff here. Pancakes! <laughs> and is that the... Welcome amiibo board, it looks like, doesn't it? Cool, and we even have a little frog in here. This is really nice. I like how a room has been left to be a bit of a spacious room as well. But it might be work in progress. But it doesn't need to be, because this looks great as it is. I, I'm, ju I'm just generally speechless. This is amazing house. It really truly, wow, really truly makes me want to be a better designer. What are these? Gold eggs. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, wow, it's those things. I forget the name, sorry. 
Is it Dharma or something? What is that? A big pile of bells? What? A big pile of bells? I've never seen that before. Cool. Everything's customizing gold that isn't gold furniture. The trophies are up here. This is so expensive. This takes so much work. We've got a big map on the back there as well, which I'm not sure where that is from. A lot of this must be welcome amiibo stuff. One of those windows again. Oh, we've got the villager statue, which you only get by scanning the smash villager amiibo, I believe. Or maybe is it the wisp amiibo? I can't remember. Oh, you can even customize this little thing. That's so cool. Oh, I, I'm speechless. Okay, down to the basement. What are we thinking? Is it going to be creepy or not? Here we go. Oh, amazing. We have an entire chess set. I've attempted this myself and it's super hard to get all the pieces and then it's super hard to get multiple of the smaller pieces and then customize them into all the right colors and they've done like a gold version that is amazing and got the Sahara rug. I think this chessboard rug is from Sahara as well. So another thing that's really hard to get. This is, this is great. What a great use for the basement. That is so cool. Um, I don't know what to say. This is amazing. I'm, I'm generally speechless of how good this town is. And I'm very, I'm, I'm very jealous, actually. <laughs> I wish I was this good. Okay, definitely very well thought out. Incredible interior design skills. And the town that's just been put together so well. I, I just really admire the time that's been put into thinking out a decent infrastructure. Linking up a residential area. Uh, bring it all the way around the map to important locations like the lighthouse, the plaza, the station, retail, stuff like that. This is really incredible. Oh, we didn't see this, did we? There's still areas we haven't seen. <laughs> We've got a... Uh, can we get through here? We've got another Zen garden here. It's amazing that there's so many little off areas that we haven't been able to see yet. But there we go. That is a great tour. Thank you so much once again for sharing in the comments and allowing us to visit and just kind of document this for the sake of like preservation because so many of these dreams will just be lost forever. Everybody's hard work is such a shame. All right, before we go, we definitely need to check out the history. If we can jump on the wall here and just see a little few details about this town. So Mayor Hope took office in 2022. So this entire town was completed in like less than a year, or maybe less than two years. That is super surprising, but they've obviously done so much work and played for so many hours. Um, I thought this might have been an older town, um, but to, to know that people are still playing New Leaf, even when New Horizons is a thing, is actually really cool. And you know what? It shows Nintendo that there's still a community around New Leaf, and that can only be a good thing, because I do have a feeling that we'll see New Leaf again in the future. So this town is relatively new, but they did get the grand opening of the TNT Emporium in November. Oh no, no people have visited this dream. We're the first. So what a privilege that we got to visit this dream. Thank you so much for sharing it. Because um, it really was a pleasure. You can just tell how much work has been put into this town. So over the course of less than two years, this town went from being brand new to the full-on Japanese-themed zen-like town that we've experienced today. And it has been a pleasure to be the first person to visit this town. So that was a real pleasure to tour. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it to the end. Thank you so much to the Patreon and the channel members who support this content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.